what's good youtube what's good people what's going on how is everybody doing i guess you guys are having a wonderful trading week and i guess you're doing all the and i guess you're doing everything that is necessary and important that you guys thought so we can end the month of august in a great way and prepare ourselves for the month of september for a greater we this is your boy Harlem and I'm back with another video. Today's video gonna be <laughs> today's video gonna be something that I've never done before based on fundamentals. But today's video gonna be what is the purpose of the bricks or what is next concerning the bricks? You guys know what the bricks is, right? I don't mean to say much and I don't need to break it down that much. If you don't know what the BRICS is, BRICS is a organization of five countries, five countries, five countries. The countries that are Brazil, B, Russia, R, India, I, China, C, and South Africa, S. This five countries they have partnered or they have collaborated and built a campaign named BRICS. What is the BRICS? Also, I'm also not sure about what the BRICS is, but all I can say is it's just the organizational group of countries which have collaborated into building something that they want to do within these five countries. So my purpose of this video today is to just share what is next. Will it affect us, the rent, or will it bring greatness to us, the rent? But not only the rent, but also talking of the dollar, oil, and just business in general, globally. Because what the BRICS is trying to do, people, is just something deep. It's not something small or something that we can laugh about. It's something deep. But all I can be assured of is that whatever they, they are planning, those five countries, it will be beneficial for their five countries. But with that dollar, I don't know what might happen. But looking at every day, that dollar might suffer the most based on the de-dollarization that they are trying to build or trying to come up on so if they trying to de-dollarize <laughs> if they're trying to make a de-dollarization meaning they're trying to cut off the dollar they're trying to cut ties with the american dollar that clearly means that business doing business with united states or rather would i say doing business with the dollar wouldn't be applicable like it used to be because all they just trying to do is to just trade and invest and do business using local currencies local currencies being the brazilian i don't know what currency the brazilians use but i'm not sure of the brazilian but the russian rupee the indian rupee the japanese yen chinese this is the chinese yuan yeah the chinese yuan and the south african rand like for instance if you're trying to buy petrol or if you're trying to buy something um, online you wouldn't use the dollar like before you would either use rand russian rupee indian rupee chinese yuan or the brazilian currency but we exclude the dollar so if something like that will be um if something like that will happen that clearly means that dollar will lose value or rather would i say the dollar will lose strength and when the dollar loses strength so does the americans lose power and when america loses power the whole world will gain power because u.s runs mostly everything globally when we're talking oil u.s is number one when you're talking finances u.s is number one when you're talking business and agriculture u.s is number one and when we're even talking of minerals u.s is number one so if they have to cut ties with the u.s that clearly means the u.s will lose the power that it has right now so people i just want to break down i just want to talk and break down on the charts so on the charts i'll be looking at two things the wti crude oil and the usd czar 
those are the only two things that I'll be looking at because I'm mainly in Southern Africa. So me being in Southern Africa, I'm I'm trying to do this for my viewers so they can take something and learn something from this or be well aware of what's coming next. But before I continue, don't forget to like and subscribe and share and turn on the notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload new videos concerning Forex and Entrepreneurship. Or to sign up with the broker that I use with the link in my bio, quick trade. You guys, look at the charts of USD ZAR because USD ZAR will be the first pay that we're looking at. So you guys know it, that the dollar has more strength compared to US to the rand. So obviously, when the dollar has more strength compared to the rand, you can clearly see that price is clearly moving in an uptrend, right? Let me just try and circulate this and add something this right there so i can make you guys get the bigger picture of what i'm trying to talk about so you can clearly see that price is clearly in a uptrend or rather would i say the rand has more strength compared to the dollar right so when you see that price has been creating higher highs and higher lows higher highs and higher lows higher highs and higher lows and now currently at this higher high, but potentially looking for a higher low formation, if it would happen. So with that being said, guys, because now you can see that the charts is cleanly in an uptrend. But when I look at my current price, I now know that price has created an all-time high early this year. Or rather, would I say somewhere around this year? And when I now look that price has also created this all-time low, this all-time low that we also created right there. And then we're having this higher low and this higher low and some higher lows right there, but I don't have to separate them out. But you guys can clearly get the picture that you can clearly see that the rand has, um, the dollar has more strength compared to the rand. So if the rand has more strength, if the dollar has more strength to the rand and the rand is trying to cut ties with, is trying to build, something different or is trying to cut ties with american dollar and work with other local currencies within the BRICS. that clearly means that the american dollar will start losing value but why do i say we'll start losing value because most countries will stop using the dollar and when the dollar is no more valuable in the global markets so does the dollar lose strength and when the dollar loses strength, most currencies that are trading against the dollar will start gaining value. And when they start gaining value, we might see price moving in a world in a clear downtrend because price, because now, because fundamentally, because now fundamentally, the dollar is being cut ties with other um currencies and they're cutting ties business wise and when they cut ties business wise that clearly means that dollar will start suffering and when the dollar starts suffering it loses value and when it loses value it loses strength and when it loses strength countries against the dollar start gaining strength and when they gain strength the dollar will suffer do you guys understand that so on the charts i won't say much but i need you guys to be well aware that obviously prices created this all-time high early um this all-time high mid this year so once price created this all-time high you can clearly see that now we might be potentially looking to create um we might be potentially looking for price to do it to create this um downtrend but we still are holding this uptrend right this intraday uptrend we still are holding it if you clearly look at this we still are holding this uptrend but when we are holding this uptrend all we now need to wait for or all we need to look for because now one we know that prices created an all-time high two prices created a higher low formation we've now created our higher low formation from an all-time high prices created a higher low formation and from this higher low formation we're looking for price to do it to break above this previous high to create a new high but unfortunately price is doing what is creating a high not higher than the previous high that might be some type of what some type of new trend or price might be looking to create a bear move but why do I say is price looking to create a bear move? Because you can clearly see from an all-time high, prices drop. 
right? And tried pushing to the upside, but unfortunately continued dropping. Now that we're moving again to the upside, we're failing to break past previous lower highs. And once we fail breaking above previous lower highs, that clearly means price will never get to the previous higher high that it's being created. I'm not saying it all 100%, but technically speaking, we're using price action. We know that if price creates a high, if price creates a higher, a lower high and comes back to the very same lower high and feels breaking above, that clearly gives us a clean double bottom, a clean double top. And with a double top, price might do it, look to continue moving to the downside. So now, before I conclude the USD ZAM, all I need you guys to be well aware of, or all I need you guys to understand it's that what they are trying to build might happen or once it happens the dollar will suffer because obviously they're cutting ties with the dollar they're no more doing business with the dollar you guys understand that but at the same time when you look at the charts we now know that if the dollar loses value globally or in the um in the trade markets we now know that if it loses that they value in the trade markets they might somehow or some way lose value in the forex markets and when they lose value in the forex markets the, the pairs that are trading against that dollar will start gaining value you guys get that so this is my take on us desire i don't want to say much or i don't want to break down that much but you guys know that we've created an all-time high and we're failing to break above that all-time high and we are now looking to start or create this lower this um we, start, we, we are now starting to create this um downtrend and once we create this downtrend based on the fundamentals that we have then we would have we would have a clean confirmed what will have a clean confirmed downtrend and a um and a rent strength and dollar weakness and see the USD are moving to the downside you guys understand that so when you hop on to the next pair which is the WTI crude oil so the oil I just want to talk about what might happen concerning the oil will the oil gain more value or will it lose its value let's just look at it right so sorry when you look at the oil you guys remember that oil created this all-time high i think it was based on the russian ukraine war i think it was based on the russian ukraine war price created this high right and price had this low right but we won't focus on this low because price is trading far far away from that low so when you look at usd czar when you look at the um wti crude oil you can clearly see that price is also um creating this downtrend but this one wouldn't be valid for me because it's just not perfect but this one might be valid right and then again we might be also looking at something like this something like this do you guys get that or do you guys see that um i'm not a trend line trader per se but i add trend lines to add confluences or correlation right so you can clearly see that the wti crude oil we're moving in a downtrend we're creating lower lows and lower highs right until price at this what this break out so obviously once price violated this zone you can also see that we've created this resistance we've been failing to break above this resistance and we've also created this what the support that we've been failing to break below so when you now see when you now look at oil in this perspective you can clearly see that from this push phase price is kind of like moving sideways and once price moves sideways there's two things that we can experience price will either break below or break above right but looking at price action or looking at our current price you can clearly see that we're failing to break above this intraday um resistance and when you look that we're failing to break above this intraday resistance what might happen next is price really going to break above or price continue breaking above or I was still going to fail breaking above and move to the downside. But when we now look at fundamentals or when we base this fundamentally, you guys know that could, you guys know that the US dollar, you guys know that America is a big ass, is a big ass contributor or is a big, 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 big producer in the oil markets. And when it's the big producer in the oil markets, that clearly means that the dollar gets its strength from the oil because many countries purchase 
the oil from America. And when many countries purchase oil from America, the clearly means America is making good business. You guys get that. But when we now look at what might be happening concerning the BRICS, Russia is the second country with the big, 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 big producer of oil. And when it's the second country with the big producers of oil, you now know that many countries are, are trying to escape that dollar. Many countries are trying to like just move off from that dollar. And when they're trying to move off that dollar, they clearly means many business ties will be cut. And when they're cutting ties with America concerning the WTI crude oil, that clearly means that America will have most, will have more supply and less demand. And when we're having less demand and more supply of oil, that clearly means America wouldn't be doing good business concerning in the oil markets. And when they're not doing good concerning with the oil markets, that clearly means they would start losing money or they would start losing their revenue in the oil markets. And when they lose revenue in the oil markets, the dollar shall suffer. Do you guys get that? So, you guys need to understand that this is basically opinion based. This is not a fact. What I'm saying might happen or might not happen. But I need you guys to understand a few things that if America is trying to, if the BRICS is trying to cut ties with America, that clearly means America will suffer business wise. And once it suffers business wise, it will suffer value wise. And once it suffers value wise, it shall suffer as a whole you guys get that so 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 when you guys look at what i said or when you guys see everything that i broke down let me let me let me try and say this when you guys see when you guys look at what i shared and everything that i broke down you can clearly get the picture that if they cutting if they're really cutting ties with america the dollar will lose value and countries against and and, and currencies against the dollar will gain value do you guys understand that? And the other thing is when the WTI crude oil, when the supply is high and the demand is low, it will also it will also deplete its value because no one is trying to buy oil using the United States dollar. People want to use their own currencies or rather would I say they want to use local currencies and once they use local currencies it wouldn't be cheap but it wouldn't be expensive it would just be neutral for these countries to purchase or to invest in other countries that are producing oil and once they cut ties with America like I say the countries that have cut ties with America shall start gaining value and once they gain value America will lose value. So What's next with the um with the dollar concerning what we spoke about, guys? If they really do what they are planning on doing, the de the de dollarization, then that clearly means America will suffer. You guys get that? There's nothing else that I can say. America will suffer, and once America suffers, many countries that are working with America shall suffer because. Prices will start getting more expensive, will start getting more expensive when you trade with that dollar. And when you are still trading with that dollar, you will start buying goods and services from America with a higher price because demand is low, supply is high. Do you guys get that? The other thing is if it fails, if the brakes block fails the de-dollarization then it clearly means that countries that wanted to cut ties with america shall suffer because they wanted to cut ties in some terms they were trying to to betray america and when they're trying to to betray america america will never forgive them for the shit that they were trying to do for just trying to go against the dollar you guys get that so if it fails then countries that were trying to cut ties with america shall suffer but we're going to see right the last thing is should it pass or should it be valued or should it be promoted in the de-dollarization then it clearly means that countries that are still working with america shall start purchasing goods and services in a higher price and countries that have cut ties with america the brakes block they shall start purchasing goods and services within the brakes block countries at a much lower price because it would be easy to get oil from russia at using the rand or the chinese yuan or the 
Indian rupee or whatever currency that we're talking about. If you're trying to purchase material or industrialization in, in China, it wouldn't be expensive because you're now using the word, you're now using rand or the Russian rupee or the Brazilian currency or the Indian rupee. You guys get that. Or if you even trying to make business with with um um India, it wouldn't be expensive because they are working as a whole. Do you guys understand that? So people i need you guys to understand that the brakes block what they trying to build would be something beneficial for the countries that are within the brakes and it will never be beneficial for the countries that are still working with america but like i said this is opinion based anything can happen it might be a failure it might pass but all we need to stick on is to just follow the rules and to just play the game that they play because if you can't beat them you somehow need to join them and when you join them you somehow need to win 10 times you guys get that without better ado don't forget to like and subscribe and share and turn on the notification bell so you can get notified every time i upload new videos and to sign up with the broker that i use with the link on my description and to get a hold of and to get a hold of me concerning of my, my trading costs or anything for it related just hit my line i'm gonna leave the link on my bio in my description and i'm gonna make sure that circle of traders is there to help you in any way shape or form regardless of whatever bullshit that you are going through or whatever shit that they are teaching you out there which is false i'm out